Former President Barack Obama and former Attorney General Eric Holder among the dignitaries to honor an Irish-American patriot. They joined worshipers inside a sun-drenched St. Paul Cathedral for the funeral mass of Steelers Chairman Dan Rooney. Ben Roethlisberger and his wife Ashley with dozens of current and former players, including Hall of Famers Joe Green and Franco Harris, paying their respects to a man who enriched their lives on and off the field. When I tell other players from different teams that Mr. Rooney, our owner, comes into our locker room. Whether we win, lose, draw, he's going to shake our hands, look us in the eye, tell us that we had a good game regardless, and tell us that he cares about us. And that's different from any other NFL franchise that I know of. Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, among the other team owners, grateful to the man who helped build the NFL, known as a consensus builder and the conscience of the league. Former Secretary of State John Kerry, his wife Teresa Hines, Governor Tom Ridge and Mayor Bill Peduto, and other politicians praising Rooney as a man of peace. Uh, I think uh, President Obama, when he met Dan Rooney, he saw a lot of the same qualities that we all knew about Dan Rooney uh, and decided to make him ambassador to Ireland. Uh, it was a proud moment. No cameras were allowed inside for the funeral, but the image of his son Art escorting his beloved wife Pat inside the cathedral helped to send a message the Rooney family will carry on, led by Dan's example. You know, cameras were not allowed inside during the funeral mass, but before it ended today, Dan Rooney's son, Art, gave his reflections of his father's life, saying that his father lived the words from the Beatitudes, blessed are the peacemakers. Well, so many people filled the streets of Oakland today, filled with that peace and gratitude. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram continues our team coverage with more reflections on the life of Dan Rooney. Sheldon? Yes, Mike, today provided a moment of remembrance for Dan Rooney that many say they would never miss, and they share with us why. They all poured out of St. Paul Cathedral, saddened by the loss of Dan Rooney, but leaning heavily on his legacy. So committed to this uh, community, uh, there was no no ne unnecessary flamboyance. There was no uh, promoting himself before the, the team or before the community. He was just always Mr. Rooney, Pittsburgh Steelers, a Pittsburgh guy. It's something Pittsburgh about the man, and he took that wherever he went. You could always approach Mr. Rooney, and I think that's what people respect, is that he was down to earth. He was a very humble, giving person, and that's what we're going to remember him today for. When he talked about the NFL, the Rooney rule, he was talking about social justice writ large. Uh, accepting and appreciating the fact that there was discrimination in this country and there still is discrimination in this country and as an NFL owner he was going to make a powerful statement that we got to end it. Dan's role in life was to make others better and to serve others and a selfless leader I think we can all learn from that. While Dan Rooney's loss means so much to many it means even more to his family especially his son Art Rooney the second. I think it's going to be difficult on Art because you know Dan and uh, I, I would believe that that's he lost his best friend and um, I think for a while it's going to be hard to, for him to adjust.